Hello everyone, myself Mitali Jain and in today's session we will learn about frequency counter. The frequency counter is a test instrument which is basically used to measure frequency and time of repeated digital signal. Uh, the application of the frequency counter as it is used in uh, different uh, data transmission, it is basically used to detect the power of high data transmission systems and it is also used in radio frequency ranges. The order code of this frequency counter is FC3165. So, this is the frequency counter of 8 digit display. It has two channels, channel A and channel B. Then after that it ranges from 0 0.01 hertz to 2.4 gigahertz and it have different functions. So, we can attenuation adjustment is there. So, in detail we will have the description of its panel. So, its panel comprises of two ports. This is channel A port and this is channel B port. Then after that the, these are three keys. This is function key, confirm and period. In function key there are three steps like there are three functions. Function 1 is when we want to select 50 megahertz to 2.4 hertz for channel B, measurement unit indication is m megahertz to per millisecond. And if we want the second function, so, for that we have to set the range uh, to 2 megahertz to 50 megahertz for channel A input. Then after that if we want th uh, its third step is basically to select the frequency in kilohertz for channel A. Then after that this is the confirm button. So, when you will press the key down then the instrument will start working according to the preset state. And this is the period button. So, when you will press this key down, so the instrument will enter into a period measurement mode. Then after that, this is the reset button. So, when the instrument is at abnormal condition, so you have to press this button. Then after that, this is for AC-DC coupling. So, for AC coupling, the button will remain at this position and for DC coupling, you have to press the key down. Then this is for attenuation. So, if you want the if you do not want the attenuation, so then you have to not press this key. And if you want to have the attenuation of nearly about 20 dB, then you have to press this key. And this is the gate time operation, which is a continuous variable from 100 ms to 1 uh, to basically 10 s to 10 seconds. And these are the LED indicators for frequency, period for kilohertz and for megahertz and this is a digit display. And at the rear part of panel, at the rear panel, so in this there is a power source, so you have to connect the power cable. Function generator, we have to first of all switch on the power supply. So as you can see that, then after that we have to connect this BNC to BNC cable. So, I have connected in the function generator. Now, I have to connect it to uh, frequency counter. So, for this I have selected the channel A. As I want to go for uh, megahertz, uh, kilohertz frequency because I have set here the 10 kilohertz frequency. So, for that first of all as I have told in the introduction. So, first of all we have to click the function. So, we have to select the third function. So, to set it to kilohertz for channel A. So, I have set it to kilohertz then after that you have to press the confirm button. Then wait for few seconds. So, you can see but then when I set it to 10 kilohertz, so the frequency is 10 kilohertz. So, if I set it to 20 kilohertz then the frequency is 20 kilohertz. When I set it to 50 kilohertz then frequency is 50 kilohertz. So, uh, I will increase its uh, frequency. So, you can see that as I am increasing the frequency if I am setting it to 90 kilohertz. So, the frequency on that is also 90 kilohertz then it is 100 kilohertz. So, then after that let us make it to 500 kilohertz. So, you can see on the display of frequency counters that it shows nearly about 500 kilohertz frequency per second. Then I will set it to 1 megahertz. So, as you can see when I set to 1 megahertz, so the frequency is here about 999 which is nearly about 1 megahertz. So, in this way you can select the frequency. So, if you you can also use the mega, megahertz node. So, for that you have to select the function. So, you can do the same process with that also. 
So, you can see that when I selected the frequency to 2 megahertz, so it is showing 199.9 uh, kilohertz, so which is approximately equals to 2 megahertz. So, when I set it to 3, so you can see 3 megahertz. When I set it to 4, so it is 4 megahertz. When I set it to 5, so it is 5 megahertz. When I set it to 6, so it is 6 megahertz. When I set it to 7, so it is 7 megahertz. When I set it to 8, so it is nearly about 8 megahertz. When I set it to 9, so it is nearly about 9 megahertz. So, in this way you can increase the uh, frequency. Hence, this is all about today's session. I hope that we have learned a lot about frequency counter. So, for further query you can uh, contact to Tesca Technologies Private Limited and you can also refer to our user manual.